Okay, we're on our way over to uh, Breerton Country Park, over near Congleton, between Congleton and Holmes Chapel, uh, to take the boy out for a bit of a leg stretch. Uh, it's not too, uh, too taxing a walk. We'll probably add a few miles on just to just to get our steps and get a calorie burn. But uh, it is a beautiful area. It's one of our favourite areas, and we'll probably take you over to uh, to where we got married. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the walk. So that's us into the park. Like I say, Breedton Heath Country Park. It's absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, we've got a bit of cloud cover today, so I don't need the sunshade up for the boy, so he can see what's going on. You can see him with his buff in the background there. So yeah, a quick half lap around Breerton, across the A54 and then down towards the, uh, the Swettenham Arms, out towards Swettenham Village. That's the plan. Most of it is wooded like this. So yeah, onwards and upwards. Okay, the centre point of Breerton Heath is this lake. Gorgeous lake stretching out into the distance. With these lovely paths, these laid paths right the way around. Plenty of tracks out through the woods as well. So there's plenty, uh, plenty of scope for little adventurers. You can probably see the, con the volunteers in the background. They're with the Congleton and District Conservation Volunteers. And they're um, working to restore the heathland, uh, change it back from it was woodland. Uh, but they're, they're, they're looking at the, to restore the lowland heath to the area. Apparently I referred to this as the Breerton Heath Country Park when I came in, um, which <laughs> it always was. But I've just been... Be nice. Yeah, I referred to this as the uh, Breerton Heath Country Park when I came in. I've just been speaking to the volunteers and they've corrected me. It's now um, a Breerton Heath Nature Reserve which uh, impact upon what they can do and what grants they can claim for. So yes, yeah, so this is now designated a nature reserve. But uh, Congleton and District Conservation Volunteers. Well worth looking up their website, I'll put a link below. Uh, they, I'm sure they could do with all the, uh, the uh, hands that they can get to do the, the good work that they're, they're doing throughout the park and elsewhere. So uh, we've gone round there with the rear side, the wooded side of the, uh, of the lake. Now at the far corner and we're going to nip out through the gate here and out towards the 54. I keep seeing these way markers which I think is the Dane Valley Way. I'll have a look at that when I get back because that could be a future vlog. Okay, that's the uh, lane leading from uh, the Breton Heath. And we crossed over and we'll be going down there towards Swettenham. There's no vehicle access as you will have seen from the sign but there is um, pedestrian access there is a bride away and a footpath that goes right the way through here i think the boy's struggling all his neck muscles seem to be losing any uh, uh control and his head's bobbling right over to the side i'm imagining he'll be flat out any second okay so we had a short walk down that lane through these lovely gates and that's the route we're faced with now absolute little gem tucked away if you didn't try walking it you'd never know about it and we've got a bit of a downhill section now, pretty much the only downhill on the outward route which drops right down into a into a valley. And one of the things I most wanted to show you, there's a, a gorgeous little chalk stream that runs through the bottom uh, of, the, of the valley. Uh, so looking forward to showing you that and then we've got a bit of a climb back up into Swettenham Village. I mean it's not a monstrous climb but it's enough of a lump to get you, get you breathing hard. All this exercise has finally taken its toll on the boy. He's uh, flat out. Well, here's the uh, stream I was telling you about. I won't film any further to the right because there's a couple of guys fishing there. Don't want to invade their privacy. But if you can pattern round, it carries on down here and it meanders its way through this field. See where it drops away and it follows this field round, right around on the, the the tree line until it disappears over there. We're out of the estate now, back onto a laid road on the uh, the run into Swettenham Village. Probably here I'm breathing a bit, this is the climb I told you about. Not massive but it's enough to get your heart going, especially with a lump of a boy on your back. 
Okay, this is one of the reasons we came out this way. One of our favourite little areas, pretty much in the whole of Cheshire. Unfortunately, it looks pretty busy at the moment, but this is where we got married. Off to the right-hand side of the building there, it's a gorgeous lavender mellow meadow, which we got married in front of. Uh, food and ale here used to be superb. Unfortunately, it's changed hands. It isn't quite so good now, but we'll go and see if they've uh, they've improved at all. There you go, two pints of Eastgate Ale and a packet of crisps. Eastgate, I would imagine, has got to be a Chester brewery. But, uh, yeah, very nice. Should help to rehydrate and uh, re-nourish us before we head back. I've got a smile on my face. The Cunnings who used to own this place of, uh, are back. Um, no wonder the place is full, the food looks good, the beer was fantastic. Uh, properly overjoyed, I'm really bouncing, surprisingly. So the sweat in my arms, folks, it's uh, hopefully back to its former glory, but it looks pretty good. There's a lot of people back here, so uh, yeah, we'll be back in to get some food before too much longer. In my uh, <laughs> my uh, happiness at them being back, I completely forgot I'm filming a blog about walking. That's it, we're, uh, we've, we've had a beer. We're not wobbling, we only had one pint. <laughs> the boy's awake again and we're back en route. We're back uh, following the road back through past the uh, chalk stream. Um, back into the, uh, the Brereton um, Nature Reserve. We'll follow the other side of the lake back to the car. Right, well, we're back from Swettenham, back into Brereton Heath Nature Reserve, back to where we left. We're going to turn right now, carry on past the visitor centre, past the car park, and then it's just a short jaunt uh, down to the car. Okay, so we've got the car park. And the visitor centre with the toilets. Plenty of amenities. Plenty of people about, cause, of course, because it's the uh, children's summer holidays. <laughs> See the gap in the trees there with the paths meet, that's where we're heading. Okay, just re, re entered the woodland, there's a sign for the Brimstone Trail. So we've got the, the Dane Valley Way and the Brimstone Trail to look at. But we're back into the trees and it's glorious again. You have to love this time of year. It's so green, so vibrant. Fantastic. I've got the boys singing away behind me as well. Well, that's us. We're, uh, we're finished for the day. 10,000 steps managed just as I reach the van, which makes it about 10k. We walk about six miles. Um, found out our favourite pub is uh, owned again by someone who knows what they're doing, which is fantastic. Weather's held for us, all good. Fantastic. A really, really good day. Uh, buzzing as a result of it. The dogs are well exercised and panting for breath in the back. Boy seems happy, Mrs. Content, jobs are good. What more can you want? As always, if you've enjoyed this, please like, comment, and subscribe on uh, on YouTube. Uh, tra uh, trail Trials on Facebook, we've got a page on there. If you could um, like that and share it with your friends, that would be fantastic. Uh, at Trail Trials on Twitter and on Instagram. We look forward to seeing you on the next, uh, next vlog. Until then, have fun and get out and find your own trail.